The latest reports coming out is that it's pretty much a swap job between Roma and Spurs. So we know Jose Mourinho is going to Roma. It looks as though Paolo Fonseca will be heading to Spurs. Jules, what do you know about this? Yeah, that's right, Kate. It's a very advanced negotiation now between uh, Paolo Fonseca, his agent, and, and Daniel Levy and, and Spurs. He's not their first choice, of course, not even second, third, maybe not even fourth. However, they needed to find someone with a, with a direction, with an idea, with a project. And I think Fonseca ticks a lot of the boxes of what Spurs wanted. He will play also the young players. He has a, a very strong identity of the kind of football he wants his team to play. We saw that at Roma. There were some really good things at Roma, some not so good. But I think in the end, he's, he's, he's someone with a very strong football identity. And I think that's important for a club like Spurs. So well done to him, well done to them. They needed someone now to come in and prepare for next season. To, to work as well on the recruitment with Fabio Paratici, the, the new sporting director, who's been instrumental as well in bringing Fonseca to the club. What does it mean for Harry Kane? Because obviously we saw when there was the Conte rumours that he said he'd only be coming if Harry Kane's sticking around. Does a, does a manager like Fonseca have the weight to demand that? I don't, I don't think so. And I, there's nothing that anyone can demand. No Fonseca, Conte, or you or me. It's just, I think Fonseca will try to convince Harry Kane to stay and will, will present him the project, his project, and how he would fit in that project. But if Kane still wants to go, and if Fonseca cannot find the right words or, the, again, the right project to convince him to stay, then Kane will, will keep pushing to, to, to leave the club and, and to move out. So I don't think Fonseca or another one it makes a huge difference, really, for Harry Kane. However, Fonseca will have a project, like we said, a strong identity, and maybe, maybe, maybe that can convince Kane to stay at least one more year. What do you think of this situation, Stevie? It's a strange summer, isn't it, with all these mm. swapping around and managerial positions that we're seeing, so many already being announced. Well, are we, are we beginning to see the, the time where general managers, owners, are beginning to think, you know what, is it really about the manager? Is it, or is it just about having a good group of players together. Because with so many changes, you have to wonder what their opinion of, of the head coach. I mean, the head coach used to run the show. Now, it seems like the puppets is probably a little strong, but it seems like it's general managers, directors of footballs, just their little FIFA game, shall we say, that, that they're bringing managers in and out and everything's towards the players, not the coaches. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.